Okay, we are in Dublin. We're at Fuse 25. I'm here with Thomas Lips. He is Senior VP of RAND Disaggregation and Enablement at Deutsche Telekom. Thomas, thanks very much for joining us on Telecom TV. Great to see you. Thank you very much for having me. So, I mean, uh, one of the main topics here at Fuse is, as always, uh, Open RAN. Everybody always wants to know what the operators who have committed to Open RAN are doing. So, can you give us an update on where Deutsche Telekom is with its uh, initial Open RAN rollout? And as you can expect, as an answer, we are fully committed to Open RAN. You know what we are doing in Germany. Uh, this is our first country we are deploying, 3,000 plus sites. Fantastic relationship between Nokia and Fujitsu. Quality on par with the best in the industry. What else can you wish for? And where are you with the, the, the 3,000 plus sites? Is that now completed, up and running? This, this rollout will be finished in 2027. Okay. So we, are, we have a three years and roughly splitting it year by year. So magnitude wise, every year, roughly about a thousand. And what have you learned so far from that deployment? Honestly, we have done a good job on Oran Alliance. Finally, open front hall for classic radios is working very well and we know how to deal with. And uh, this gives us confidence to do more, to do more in Europe. And obviously there is the hardware side, but there's also the, the software side and the, the management and the applications that can be brought into an open RAN environment. Uh, just remind us of the, the Deutsche Telekom strategy there. Um, you might be aware uh, we are developing our own SMO and this is a cornerstone for us, it's a control point for us. So we are going in a smooth way, come starting even with SRAN right now, doing conflict management, doing conflict management, enabling ARAPs uh, in the networks as we speak and developing it then continuously forward towards a full ORAN capable network. Okay. Okay. Uh, and what kind of services and applications is that enabling? What, what are you trying out first? You will see a lot of applications there. <clears throat> we are currently, and this is the first steps uh, that we are doing, we will go full-fledged with more apps, but we are doing AI-driven uh, 4G, 5G conflict management. We are doing uh, quality of service prediction for our networks for dynamic slicing and power consumption. All these elements you will find right now that we are testing out, enabling even current applications working on the RIC and via that one getting an ecosystem that enables us going forward, having a full-fledged service and going towards this vision of autonomous networks via our apps. Uh, and the, the ecosystem of development, you know, one of the big things about Open RAM was always, this is going to foster innovation, there's going to be new companies coming in, enabling new capabilities. Are you seeing that in the R app space? Are you seeing new companies coming up with I innovation in this space, essentially? I would even say mostly in the Arab space right now. Yeah. You know, a bit of a challenge of our industry, uh, the new players being out on the CUDU side, being on the IU side, the ecosystem is not as wide as we wish. But on the Arab side, obviously the investments are lower, number of employees, you need to develop something really leading edge, innovative. Uh, so there we see more activities and we see more companies coming in. But you're seeing innovation also from your, your main partners as well, from Nokia and Onefinity? Oh, oh certainly. Uh, this, this is something I must say I was most surprised how much they are putting in, how much they are, they are putting their weight into this one, opening their networks, making them compliant, O1 interface, cloud part. So you see a lot of elements that enable it to scale it once we are going wider outside of Germany in a European footprint. And so what, what is the next step for, for Deutsche Telekom? What, what comes next? Obviously you're working towards, towards the 27 goal for this initial 3000 plus, but what, what's the next stage? As you know, Germany is only part of the footprint that we are having. So we are looking at the moment on our, the remaining part of our European footprint, coming up with a component-based RFQ. So really all around components and trying to find the best of breed, the best of TCO in that combination, developing it then in the rest uh, of the footprints uh, as we speak. And uh, we were discussing this morning, you were on a, a panel that I was uh, uh, very happy to, to be moderating. And you mentioned that process. 
beginning of 2026, is that right? We will send out the RFQ beginning of 26. Never done before, never done in that magnitude, all European countries at once. So there will be a learning curve for us, for the suppliers, and that's why the earlier you get out, the more learnings you have and the better the results are getting. Okay, and the magnitude, what kind of, so you mentioned it this morning, so... <laughs> I think around 30,000 sites okay. uh, will be part of this RFQ. Of course, it will be a combination uh, going forward. Not everything can be all run. We have to grow into that one. Sure. Uh, but you will see a good share of all run capable network uh, across the footprint. Excellent. Well, it, it's good to see things moving forward because in the lead up to this event, uh, I was checking to see what the the chatter is uh, online, particularly on LinkedIn, about Open RAN, and it was all very negative. But it's good to see that there are developments here, even to the point where people were posting Open RAN is dead, AI RAN is, is where the action is. And I'm like, this doesn't sound right, but Open RAN is certainly not dead at Deutsche Telekom or indeed at the other panelists uh, that were with you this morning. Uh, uh, absolutely not. And, and uh, really, I would even say, stronger than ever. We might not have that many players in the ecosystem, but let's take the AI for run uh, discussion. What we are doing, the foundations that we laid, R-ups, X-ups, yeah. is basically what is needed and where in other network areas people are looking at us and, and envying us that we have structures that we can now play with and having agentic activities uh, based on that one. So I would even say stronger than ever, having a foundation uh, that was laid well in the years before. Okay, fantastic. Thomas, thanks very much for joining us, giving, uh, giving us an update on uh, Deutsche Telekom and look forward to chatting with you uh, again in 2026. Thank you so much. Looking forward myself.